I am the gate, said Jesus. So Jesus is the gate that separates the sheep from the wolf. The gate that separates man from eternal damnation and eternal life with God. The gate that leads man to salvation. Jesus is the only way, the only gate that leads a man to God. There is no one other way. And those who reject Jesus Christ are not part of his flock. The Bible tells us in John chapter 10 verse 7, Jesus said, I am the gate. Whoever enters me, whoever enters through me will be saved. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. In other words, Jesus Christ is the only doorway through which mankind can be saved. There is no other way. He's the only doorway. You see, there are two paths in life. One path leads to eternal life with God and the other one leads to eternal damnation. It's separation from God. There are only two paths in life. There are not three. There are not five. There are not multiple. There are only two paths paths in life and we get to choose because god has given us free will jesus christ is the only way to god he is the gate jesus says i am the gate all right all right my boy i am the gate jesus christ is the way all right once we enter through jesus christ and we enter through him we live in him he lives in us we enter through him once we enter through him we have to feed off of him so it's not just entering through him so that we've received salvation and then that's it no and a lot of christians sadly are living that kind of lukewarm life no we enter through him and then we have to feed off of him why do we need to feed off of him so we can bring forth fruit a lot of Christians saying, well, I've been saved. I've received salvation. I'm just going to sit here at home in the comfort of my own home and just, and just wait for the coming of the Lord. That's not how Jesus Christ called us to live. He said, go out and make disciples of the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to live as I have commanded, as I have instructed you. All right? So once we enter through Jesus Christ, we have to start feeding off of him so that we can bring forth th fruit. The Bible tells us in John chapter 15, verses 4 through 5, Jesus said, Abide in me and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit of yourself unless you abide in me. He continues to say, I am the vine and you are the branch. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. You know, I think Jesus is very straightforward there. Jesus Christ is formed in us in the heart. All right. And we hold on to him through faith. All right. So we see we receive him into our hearts. It's an attitude of the heart. Right. And then we hold on to him. We cling to him through faith and by clinging to him we being the branch he being the vine we're drawing life from him it's like if you separate the branch if you cut the branch off of the vine how can that branch draw life it can't it will soon wither away and die it's the same with us when we separate ourselves we being the branch and christ being the vine if we separate ourselves from the vine surely shortly we will start to wither away and die it's the same thing and so we need to cling to jesus through faith it's an attitude of the heart and we're drawing because he's formed in our hearts right and we're drawing 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 life from him we're drawing 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 strength from him we're drawing power from him right and these things that we're drawing to, from, from Jesus, he, be, he becomes more and more formed in our hearts. And that's where we see change in our lives. We, start, we become a new creation. We are a new creation when we enter him. But we need to start living that new creation as we're drawing, drawing, drawing from him. The Holy Spirit in us leads us, takes us by the hand and leads us day by day to make these changes so we can become more in the image of Christ every single day. And then we start to see a change happening in us and it begins to radiate outside from us. And then we begin to see this change happening to those we touch, those we encounter. Our actions become different. Our way of thinking becomes different. The way we speak becomes different. Everything, that in, in, everything about us begins to change 
because Jesus is being formed in us and we're drawing. If we're drawing from unclean water, then we become that unclean water. If we're drawing from clean water, we become that clean water. If we're drawing from Jesus, we become like Jesus. Okay, we become, we become in his image, we represent him. We begin to walk like him and think like him and see like through the eyes, through his eyes. And we begin to speak like him. But separation from Jesus Christ, when you separate the branch from the vine, separation from Jesus Christ causes you to wither away and you slowly die. You become fruitless. You become fruitless in mind. Fruitless in speech. You become fruitless in your body. You become fruitless in your soul. You become fruitless in your ministry. Right? Fruitless. So you can say 100 words to someone and it doesn't touch their heart at all. Or you can say one word that is coming from the innermost parts of your being. It's fruitful. It's coming from the Holy Spirit. One, per one word and it touches that person's soul. And it changes them. So separation from the vine just makes us fruitless. We become fruitless. Separation from the vine. But if we abide in Jesus Christ, we're drawing from him. Springs of living water. He is the spring. We're drawing this from him. We're drawing life from him. We're drawing power. We're drawing strength from him. We're just drawing, drawing, drawing continuously from him. And because we're drawing continuously from him, because we're feeding continuously from him, we become the nature of Jesus Christ, pure and holy, fruitful, fruitful in the image of Jesus. But if the branch is removed from the vine, it dies. You see, you see a lot of people like that. They're separated from Jesus Christ. I don't want to know Jesus. I don't want to walk like Jesus. I don't want to. I don't believe in Jesus. You see, they're, 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 they are the walking dead. They think they are alive, but they are spiritually dead. They think they are. They see, but they are spiritually blind. That's just how it is. There's no fruit in their lives. Which I feel now that the Holy Spirit wants me to say, be careful of ministers where they are fruitless. Take a look at their fruits before you start following a minister. Be, take a look at their fruits before you start following a preacher, a pastor, or whatever, an evangelist, whatever. When you start following people on social media, or on YouTube or whatever. Take a look at their, the fruits of their life first. Are they really producing the fruits of the Holy Spirit? If not, then not connected to the vine, which means you have no business following these people. Be very careful, all right? So we need to be drawing from Jesus Christ. And by doing so, we slowly become the nature of Jesus Christ, right? Pure, holy, fruitful. Why? Because we're always receiving life, 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 life. So everything about us must be producing fruits. You see, because we're drawing from life. So when we're not drawing from life, you see, we're not fruitful. Right? Without Jesus, we can do nothing that is spiritually good. Many people can do many things. Which can look successful to the deceiving eye, to the physical eye, to the non-discerning eye but an eye that sees with the person that sees with the spiritual eyes a person that sees with the, with the discerning eye will see even if someone looks successful they will discern and see but that's not spiritually good you can do nothing without Christ that is spiritually good all right we must not be separate from the shepherd. Jesus is the shepherd. He's the gate. We need to go through him. There is no other way we need to go through him. The branch connected to the vine brings forth grapes. Likewise, we connected to Jesus brings forth fruit. Spiritual fruit of the Holy Spirit. If we're not producing fruits, we're not really connected to the vine. We need to be producing fruits, bringing fruit, forth fruits and good works. Don't be deceived by people who just speak, 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 speak. But they're fruitless, no fruit, no good works. 
right? Fruitfulness is only due to Jesus Christ. There's no other way. It's only, it's not through uh, practicing new age spirituality. It's not through personal development. It's not through self-help methods. It's not through, it's just through Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I am the gate. Okay. And without me, you can do nothing. Jesus is the only way. He is the only gate. And fruitfulness comes only through Jesus Christ. Not by our power or by your our might. Only through Jesus Christ. And without him, we can do nothing that is spiritually good. We need to be in Christ. Connected to the vine. Drawing life. From Jesus' work, from Jesus alone, who says, I am the life. All right? Without him, the spiritual death. Don't be deceived by the evil one that there are many ways. There are no many ways. There is only a single way. His name is Jesus Christ. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one gets to God the Father except through me. There is no other way but through the one gate. And his name is Jesus Christ. Right, there are many links below. I'm currently making uh, Christian clothing. Links are below if you want to take a look at that. My books, uh, which are published, New Age Occult to Jesus, um, Worldly Life of Deception, Who is God, Spiritual Warfare, and This is Grace, all can be purchased below. If you want to donate to the ministry because it's blessing you, maybe link is below. God bless you.